updates on that front. The POSF Sun Pharma's numbers flashing at the bottom of the screen. Revenue has come in at around 12,200 crores. So this is better than what our own poll was expecting, which was closer to around 12,000 crores. The net profit has also come in better than expected at around 2375 crores versus the estimate that we had of around 2185 crores. Ekta, uh, I know these are just the initial numbers, but looks like a beat from what we have so far. Well, uh, yes, Pavitra, you know, and it's not a significant uh, change as compared to our poll. So it's largely an inline set of numbers, I'd have to say. So uh, the profit is definitely, you know, above estimates. So it's coming at a growth of around five odd percent. Mm. And the street was working with a possible decline of around three odd percent. So that's definitely a positive which has come through. But nonetheless, uh, in terms of the revenue, I think it's coming at a growth of around uh, 11 odd percent this time round as compared to our poll of around a 10% growth. Now, the margins too have come in at around 26%. We were anticipating 26% in terms of margins. So that too has come in line with estimates. It seems as though, uh, you know, the US business, which is basically their spe speciality sales where they do sell uh, drugs such as Winlevy, Sequoia, as well as a couple of other drugs such as Illumia, which is for psoriasis, Winlevy is for acne, and Sequoia is for eyes. Uh, all of those have contributed quite significantly in terms of the US beats. Now, we will have to wait by to see what exactly the speciality sales have generated in terms of total sales this time. Uh, whether or not uh, Re Revenue Generic has contributed as much. But based on what we're seeing, this estimates that we were working with for Sun Pharma in terms of, say, the generic business contributing over $400 million, Revlimit Generic coming in at around $30 to $40 million, the specialty sales business also contributing on a year-on-year -year basis. It seems as though those numbers would largely be on in line based on what they have reported. There's no big surprise which has come through for the numbers. It is a steady state of numbers where the revenue has grown 11 odd percent. We have margins which have come in at a steady 26 percent. Mm. and we've got the profit which has grown around five odd percent so mm. as of now I would say no surprises which have come in in terms of what they have reported the internals will give us more of an idea in mm. terms of how the company has done and obviously the internals such as what they have done in terms of the speciality sales US generics business India growth which is expected to be around nine to ten odd percent so I think the street would wait by for that profit has been a marginal beat otherwise it's been an inline set of numbers Okay, well, we are waiting by for more details with regards to Sun Pharma. As of now, as you can see, the stock is reacting uh, quite steadily. The stock is up around 0.8%. Just want to point out that with regards to Sun, uh, you know, there are a couple of more details which we would watch out for. Is, uh, for example, what they are what the status of a couple of their key plants such as Halol as well as Mohali would be because remember that both those plants have been under the scanner. They haven't really been contributing right. in terms of the business. So that would be an important factor to watch out for. Speciality sales, like I mentioned, the street was working with around 240 to $242 million. We'll wait by for the press release to get a detail in terms of how much it's contributed. This compares to $232 million in the previous quarter. Overall, I'd have to say that based on what they have reported, it's it's largely an inline set of numbers, no surprises which have come through at this point in time for Sun Pharma. As you can see, the stock is up around 1%. So Ekta, right now the stock has also positively reacted to that and uh, yes, the numbers are good. But what are the key aspects uh, that uh, you're looking out for from the management commentary there? Oh, with regards to the commentary, you know, um, uh, we will probably wait by to get an assessment in terms of what the U.S. generics business is going to look like for them in terms of a run rate, what the price pressure will look like, and the guidance with regards to, uh, you know, the speciality business. We do have Prakash Devan who's joining in to discuss the Sun numbers for us. Uh, Prakash, hi, welcome to the show. Well, it seems as though it's, uh, you know, a good set of numbers. We can't complain. We were anticipating a revenue growth of 10%. They've reported 11%. Margins of 26%. It's in line with estimates. And a profit growth of 5%. That's better than estimates because we were anticipating a decline of 3%. Your overall assessment on what uh, Sun has reported in Q2? Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Ekta. Uh, so, you know, I, I don't think there's anything in the numbers that... Uh, warrants any fireworks uh, uh, you know i i don't think uh, you know the margins are beyond what was already uh, anticipated at 26% uh, 26 point uh, 26.2 whatever you want to kind of uh, you know but apart from that uh, you know splitting air on that what the revenue is also very much in line uh, what's in, what's nice to see is the profit growth and and that could probably be we'll have to see what's led to that 
uh, because the revenue also at 1200 uh, 12,200 odd is, is kind of in line with what we were anticipating. What's going to set this apart from, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know more than these numbers is going to be what that you could look forward to, look ahead. And if that is going to be something which is uh, going to take Sun Pharma's revenue model and margin profile into a different uh, band, then there is some excitement around the stock. And which which means that, you know, at 1100 odd, the stock is actually not overpriced. So there any anything positive on the commentary uh, will, will actually help the stock uh, get a very firm footing for the next three, four quarters. So I think the numbers are good, sets a very good base. Uh, fulfills most of the expectations, but it's it's what's ahead, what lies ahead that's going to be more important. Okay, so when you say what lies ahead, what is the commentary that you'd probably look for from the company this time? Uh, any key deliverables that you're watching out for, yes, say, so, in terms of yeah, numbers? So, so, you know, uh, you of course you know this better than all of us, uh, that Sun Pharma has always been languishing uh, for a long time to move up on the value chain. So the speciality chemical business, which they have been investing so much of resources into distribution and all of that, that hasn't started contributing in a very significant way yet. But if they see traction uh, in the markets, in the U.S. market particularly, uh, converting itself into realizations, then there is there is ample headroom for uh, a re-rating. The second thing that you would look for in the commentary is, uh, you know, what's the pipeline for some of the new uh, uh, drugs, which, of course, they could be in the generic side, but if there is some sort of a visibility in terms of monetizing that, uh, that, that could also help. And some of their subsidiaries have actually reported very robust growth, uh, which, which is something which gives them a very strong balance of sorts, you know, for the standalone business and for the subsidies both to grow. So my sense is it will probably be the speciality chemicals and the monetization of the pipeline. Uh, and, and the way the U.S. FDA is uh, behaving, uh, we've seen, you know, we've got in the first six months of the year almost like 60% of the total uh, uh, you know, ANDA approvals have come to India as compared to the U.S. and China and Europe and also, which means that our companies uh, and, and Sun being a proxy of sorts to the large cap pharma play uh, will benefit much more with a six-month lag. So, you know, that's that's why the commentary ahead is going to be more important. <clears throat> okay, all right, Prakash, uh, we're going to leave it on that note. Thanks very much for joining in and taking us through the results. So, no surprises which have come through. In fact, it is a result with a positive bias, I would say, that is Sun Pharma. As you can see, the stock has moved to the high point of the day. We'll wait by for the internals, but the uh, reported revenue EBITDA as well as profit is definitely in line to higher than estimates. All right, and it's around a 1.5% move that we are seeing on the stock right now. We will also hear from the management at their conference call at around 6.30 today, so watch for that. But with that, we have to wind up.